Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to show you a quick and easy way to defrost frozen meat. I'm gonna be working with some bone-in pork chops for this video. And here I have two packs of bone-in pork chops. And I'm gonna show you how to do this in under five minutes. I will not be using a microwave oven for this. So let's just jump right into this video. Now for starters. Let me say this, if you already know how to defrost pork chops or any type of meat, then this video is not intended for you. It's for the people who do not know how to defrost meat. Now I'm gonna show you the way that I do it. This is um, the way that I've been doing it since I've been cooking. I've never had any issues with bacteria or getting sick or anything like that. So first I'm starting out by running warm water onto the meat. Now some might say use cold water, some might say use hot water. I use lukewarm water. I do not use cold water because in my opinion, that defeats the purpose of getting it done quickly. I need this done quickly, you guys. And I'm gonna have this defrosted in under five minutes. Also, you don't want to use hot water because hot water will cook that top layer of your meat. I've had that happen to me before. And so it only took one time to learn that lesson. Do not use hot water. So, but of course, the best way to defrost any type of meat is always to either sit it on the countertop or to defrost it in the refrigerator. But if you're in a dire situation like I was and you really needed to get it done, then I recommend doing it the way that you see here. You can also defrost your meat in the microwave oven as well, but this is just the method that I use and this is what I prefer. So first I'm going to start by taking the meat out, um, out of the packaging. And I'm just running some lukewarm water onto the meat, but I'm gonna submerge this meat inside of, um, I have a plastic basin that I'm gonna put it inside of. And um, for this video, I didn't do a lot of cuts and edits because I wanted to keep it mostly in real time so that you could see that, yes, you can accomplish this but this is only for pork chops because pork chops are very easy to defrost. So like if you were defrosting chicken or another type of meat that is like really, really thick and dense, of course it's not gonna defrost as fast as pork chops will. So as you can see, I've placed the pork chops inside of the basin here, and I'm gonna begin to fill this up with lukewarm water. Now, when you fill up um, whatever you put your meat in, if you decide to use a large bowl, um, if you don't have a basin, you can just put it directly into the sink. But when you fill it up with water, make sure that the faucet is aimed so that the water does not fall directly onto the meat because it will cause a splashing effect and you will splash water from the meat onto like your sink or your countertop. And for the purpose of, you know, bacteria, you want to minimize spreading bacteria um, onto your countertop. Okay, so to begin, I'm going to lift the pork chops out of the water and I'm going to gently pull the meat. Now, I'm not trying to totally detach it. As you can see, all of the pork chops are stuck together because they're frozen, but you want to you know, gently lift the, the edges of the meat that's attached to the other pork chops. And the reason that you're gonna do this is because this will allow more of that water to get down into um, the areas that are really, really frozen. So yeah, you wanna lift the meat, gently lift the meat, and then you're gonna put it back. You're gonna submerge it back into the water. Then you're gonna repeat that same step with the other pork chops. Being very careful not to break or rip 
the meat because that is very possible when it's frozen like this you can rip it and you don't want to rip the meat so as you can see the meat is flexible i'm able to bend it which you know is a really clear indication that okay it's beginning to um thaw which is really good because like i said we want this to be a quick process really quick and so at this point my water was cold i prefer lukewarm water like i said i've never had any issues with getting sick um some might say use cold water but i prefer lukewarm water so as you can see i've drained that water there because it was cold and now i'm going to add more lukewarm water and i'm going to repeat the same thing that i did you might have to do this two or three times um, if necessary, but I only had to dump the water one time. So once that water is full, you want to make sure that the pork chops again are fully submerged into the water. And then we're going to once again begin to gently pull the meat. Now, the way that I did it was I used my, my thumb to gently um, rub. Like I did like a rubbing motion to gently lift the meat, if that makes sense. But you have to be really careful not to tear the meat. And as you can see, the first pork chop has already separated. Once your pork chop separates from the other pork chop at that point, it's completely defrosted, completely. And so that was under five minutes to get that very first pork chop separated. And as you can see, the others are just beginning to um, peel apart from the stack of pork chops here. And yeah, so now we got, how many do we have there? One two two pork chops so far um three okay we have three pork chops defrosted in under five minutes now this method to me is so much better than using a microwave oven um in my opinion, and I've had this happen, even with the microwave oven, you kind of run the risk of it cooking some of your meat before it's completely um, defrosted or unthawed. And we do not want any part of our meat to be cooked unless it's cooked in the skillet, seasoned with some oil. You know, we don't want it at this point here to be cooked. So that's why I prefer to use the water method to defrost my meat so yeah once it's defrosted you want to go ahead and take that meat out of the water as soon as possible take it out and you can sit it on your countertop because once you get all of your pork chops defrosted that's when you want to rinse them and season them and begin to cook them and this was so quick you guys so the thing was this was so last minute for me i actually normally would take meat out um, the day before or the morning of when I'm gonna cook, but it was so last minute and I needed to have dinner cooked within a certain amount of time and I needed to have my meat thawed out. So I went for the pork chops because pork chops are very easy to defrost. And as you can see, I got it done in under five minutes and yeah. So, um, also, I want to thank all of my new subscribers, all of my returning subscribers. I want to thank you all so much. You have helped me hit my goal. You have helped me reach my goal of over 1K subscribers and being monetized. And I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you all so much for your positive comments, um, for your support. Thank you guys so much, so much. Thank you so much. I started this channel in 2011, but I started uploading videos in February, um, cooking videos that is in February. 
and I've reached my goal. So that's really, really exciting for me. I'm really excited to bring you guys more content. And so, yeah, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and how easy it is to defrost meat. Now, next time I'll probably do like a how to defrost chicken or ground beef. And you know, it's all easy for me because I've been doing this since I was a teenager or a kid, you know. So this is all easy to me. And so of course, once all of your um, chops, once all of your chops are done, you wanna remove it from the water. There's no point in it just sitting in the water. You wanna get it out of there. Then you're gonna go ahead and drain that water. And last but not least, you always wanna clean up your work area. It is so, so important to um, wipe down your area with uh, bleach, uh, dish dishwashing liquid, wash your hands because of course raw meat carries bacteria and you do not want that lingering on your countertops and in your sink. So always wipe it and clean, you know, clean your area down. So yeah, that's it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give me a big thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys in my next video.